Hey gang, Jamie Aston. This is part two of the uh, Stanley Adventure Cooler uh, 30 quart overview. 2016 brand new product and um, this is part two where I compare it or put it side by side with the Pelican 35 quart Pro Elite Cooler. Two coolers, 30, 35 quart. But that's not why I'm putting this, uh, these two coolers side by side in this comparison video. I'm putting them side by side mainly because I've made a video on this cooler, I've made a video on this cooler, and now I'm making a video on this cooler, and I kind of mention them all together in one or another uh, just because, number one, a lot of people are going to be comparing those coolers to another brand's cooler when they buy them and number two I have personal real personal experience with the coolers because I own them and they are uh, pro grade coolers they're not your basic twenty fifty dollar coolers these are more uh, well I'm going to class them as premium grade coolers but now I'm gonna take up a I'm gonna put a new tier into here um, although they're premium coolers um, again this is an unreleased product okay so um, features can change uh, and things like that so if, keep that in mind unreleased product this has been up for two years but this is unreleased but with that said uh, I think it's uh, worth uh, comparison here are a few examples of basic coolers basic coolers are the run of the mills coolers that we find day to day as you can see in these examples that the foam is seeping out between the edges of the uh, cooler the fin finish is bad this hinge design is really terrible this hinge design almost always fails basic coolers uh their warranty is usually a year or less and they do not promise to do anything more than keep your contents cool and or together for the day at the park Premium cooler, premium cooler. Stanley says this is a pro grade cooler. Pelican calls this a pro elite cooler. What I'm going to say is this is an extreme cooler. Looking at the Pelican, you look at their gun cases, you look at any other cases that they have, you look at Yeti or Grizzly or anything else, a lot of times you're starting to you're starting to go up into the uh, extreme grade. I say extreme grade when you start talking about uh, not just a lifetime warranty, which these two coolers have and the Yeti doesn't. The Yeti has a seven year warranty, I do believe. But this is certified bear proof. Certified bear proof. Whereas the Yeti is certified bear proof, this one is not. Right? This one is made in such a way that you could drop it and throw it and it's cooler is not going to come apart. This thing is a beast. It's a beast. This cooler, while premium, put it into a similar situation, you throw it, you let it fall off your truck or something like that, it's probably going to break. <laughs> no slide against Stanley, it's just what it is. It's made in multi parts, you know, where you see the gray, the two tone, although it's really cool, that is a separation. You know, whereas when you have a uh, this type of cooler, it is 100% sealed, the foam is, and it's just rigid. It is just rigid. It's a beast of a cooler, extreme cooler, and you pay an extreme price for it. This cooler, it's not an extreme cooler, it's pro grade. It keeps contents cold for four days. This one says it'll keep cold for 10 days. Now you start saying, well dang Jamie, you already know the winner. When you're looking at products, you have to think about, uh, you have to be uh, objective. And you have to be subjective as well, but you always have to think about not only what's a winner on a piece of paper, but what's the winner in a real world usage. 
I use this cooler if you're gonna do uh, say a ratio once a week once a week out of the year once a week I'm gonna use this cooler right here it's 16 quart it's lightweight bungee on top is really doggone cool and it's just easy to use that's the that's the biggest reason right there easy to use I use this cooler <laughs> personally I've only used it one time one real time and I've had it for almost a year I didn't go camping this year I've only used this cooler one time this is my personal experience right glad I have it 100% glad I have it why have you only used this cooler one time Jamie you see how big this thing is this is me carrying it right here in front of me let's take a look at my body real quick <laughs> this sweater okay it's cooler it's probably two of me side by side this cooler you see that you see this I'll put the weight on the screen. I'm not going to say it out loud. Because I don't remember. <laughs> I have a value in my mind, but I don't remember. I mean, I really like to use this cooler. Look at those handles. Make it fairly easy to carry. This cooler is heavy, empty. Now you think about once you put your contents in this 35 quart cooler, whether it's food, fish, ice, whatever it's going to be. A lot of times now with the, any one of these coolers, I don't take frozen ice. I'll take some type of a frozen ice pack. But still, this cooler is very heavy, empty, extreme cooler. If I'm fishing for one or two days, because I have kept my fish in both of these coolers for a couple of days. I've even used kept fish in this cooler a couple of days. So you know, and this I'm not comparison as far as time, 10 days and, and how long I've kept them. I'm just saying for those two days max that I might have fish in there. And what I mean by two days, I didn't clean them the first day, they stayed in there to the second day after I caught them. So they're all doing the same job for me, right? Once you start to put more and more contents into this uh, Pelican cooler, this is an extreme cooler, you're going to need a second person or you're going to have to pull it around in a wagon, which is how I get it to the car sometimes when it's full. I think I've used it probably twice. We'll say twice. It's a beast. When I do not need extreme conditions, I do not need an extreme cooler, right? This cooler with these jumbo size handles holding 30 quarts. I've used this cooler not just because it's brand new. I've used this cooler already far more times than I've used this extreme cooler. I'm just going fishing. A lot of times the question is now, which cooler do I want to take? The 16 quart cooler or the 30 quart? Although I like the bungee and everything on the 16 quart cooler is very easy. On the days when I'm really catching fish, this thing starts to fill up because I'm also keeping bait, drinks, and everything else in there. When it comes to this 30 quart cooler, I can put everything in it. I really love how deep this cooler is. 
I really love how deep this cooler is. These coolers look to be about the same height, but when you start to look at the extreme cooler, remember Pelican has two inches. Two inches. At least two inches. <laughs> but that's the foam, the density. Two inches, top, bottom, lid, everything else. So even though this cooler is big and heavy, it's only 30 quarts and it's kind of uh, small on the inside. Let's put this bottle of wine in there. With the bottle of wine, you can see it does come up above this line, but I believe because it's indented at the top that you can still close it. So you can still close it with the bottle of wine in there. This cooler put the bottle of wine in there, it's right at the line you're gonna close it as well right? when I was talking about the draining, you see these lines right here this is going at a slight slope, a slight grade and you're gonna get just about all the water out of here I mean that is amazing, I love this design I love it with this cooler there is no so much of a grade but you see the drain is down here you're not gonna have uh, any water left over I mean it's gonna be such a small amount that it, it won't mean anything but it's getting all the water because of the design good design I don't think there's anything left to say. You have got to be realistic when you're talking about products. You need to be subjective and objective. And you need to not just look at the the stats on paper and, and try to win uh, choose a winner. I mean, this is almost like the the Ronda Rousey, <laughs> Katie Holmes fight in a sense. Shouldn't even say that, but uh, I mean, a lot of people are gonna go for the big dog. They think it's just a clear winner, but I mean, this one, by real usage, real experience in a sense, it's getting used. I think you all really need to consider that when you're thinking about an extreme cooler. How much are you going to use it? Are you really going to be camping for 10 days? I mean, honestly, here's the deal. If I went camping, I would take both coolers. I would not use this cooler for anything but ice. Extreme cooler, I want you to keep bags of ice for my other coolers or for other food. So I never have to make a run at all. But these are the ones I'm going to be going inside of for fish to put things in or to get food out. You just don't want to use this one much. I mean, if you have a boat and you're going to leave your cooler on the boat, this is the one you want to get. You want to keep your pelican, you're going to strap it down and whenever you need to, you're going to put ice in it, put your fish in it. When you get back, you transport your fish to another bag or, or a cooler or something like that and you leave the cooler on the boat after it drains out. I wouldn't necessarily leave this one on the boat or anywhere but for me personally <clears throat> I carry my stuff with me so once I leave the, the truck, the FJ, I'm bringing my stuff with me. I mean you all just don't know how light this thing is and sturdy, don't get me wrong, it is, it is sturdy 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 cooler but how light is empty and by design lengthwise versus carrying something out here that's heavy versus carrying it right here when it's heavy you see this versus this this versus this this naturally versus this An extreme cooler <laughs> premium pro grade both of them but this is extreme I'm not going around bears all the time I'm not I, I'm not going around bears right now at all when I fish right now 
I just don't have a whole lot of uh, 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 use cases for this cooler when I can have this cooler and when I do have this cooler, okay? But to close, I am extremely fortunate to have these coolers and I really appreciate all three of these coolers. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these coolers or any of the other coolers. I think what you want to do is just make sure you get the cooler that's going to fit your needs, okay? You just don't want to get one just to get one because it's top of the line. Um, a term that I like to use for that, kind of extreme, but it's brand mongering. Now you can exchange mongering, mongering with, the, with another word or anything else, but um, you just don't want to just ride on a certain brand just because even though Stanley gave me this cooler you know there that it's not perfect you know it's not perfect I'm not ever gonna say that does it fit my needs right now it does yes it does I like this 16 quart cooler so well until when I, there have been times where this one's too big I am so ready to buy a 7 quart cooler and almost bought it in November but uh, I put it back because really, I don't need it. This is more filling it wants. For whatever reason, the, the, to store things. I need to get out of that mind to just collect. But, uh, stay tuned for this cooler. Pricing is going to be uh, really good for you all. Um, you're not buying a Yeti. You're not buying a Pelican. But you can get a pro grade cooler with a lifetime warranty the hook has a capacity right now 30 quarts yes it's going to be more than the coleman or the igloo coolers you get for 15 dollars or 50 dollars or 60 dollars or whatever yes it, it doesn't have the uh, same capacity but in comparison with those coolers you're looking at a day or two things falling apart versus four days max you know cold and that's just max cold I think one say ice or something I'm gonna do an ice test on this later just because no one has an ice test out there but you're looking at you know a cooler with a lifetime warranty with a freezer grade seal I mean you can't go wrong if you all have any questions comments please let me know it's really cold and I probably forgot a lot of things. It's probably bad camera angles, whatever. There's a lot of things you can say bad, but uh, if you have any questions or I left something out, just ask me. I'll let you know. You all uh, take care. Merry Christmas. And uh, there it is.